Hello everyone, it's Lionheart84 here and I'm Brett. Um, just going to do a very quick video on uh, feeding my container grown fruit trees. It's the second week of April now and quite a lot of them are coming out into buds and the Asian pears are actually in full flower. And this year I'm going to try, um, going to try this uh, seaweed based food called Seasel. Um, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by them or working for the company. I just thought I'd let you know what I was trying this year. Um, there's various other seaweed based foods which you can buy over here which I've used previously. Uh, the names temporarily escape me, but um, certainly they'll be uh, perfectly usable. <coughs> Excuse me, sneezing on camera. Um, basically it says on here for um, Large or stress trees, foliar and indoor plants, um, vegetables, fruit trees. Um, it's mostly about 30 to 40 millilitres. Uh, one of these caps is 10 millimetres, so three or four caps of that to approximately, uh, I think it's a two gallon watering can. Uh, that's two imperial gallons, so about nine liters i believe that's the size i can i'm not sure because all the stickers and markings have come off it now so i'm only guessing but it's not crucial because i'm not using a particularly strong uh formulation so it's not going to be particularly uh, expensive to use it and um, it's not like to be too concentrated oh, the sun's gone in there which is nice for filming so basically all you do is measure uh one cap of this is 10 millimeters pop that in the watering can which I'm going to do very quickly. This will be a disaster. One. If you've got very large trees, it says you can use 120 millimetres, but I think that's too much for my size trees. Now the reason I want to feed them now, there's roughly four cans in there. Pop some water in the can. Uh, the reason I'm uh, doing them now is persimmon. I've got a lot of persimmon trees and they really need to be watered or fed before they come into full growth. So uh, March to April is a good time to do them because if you feed them when they're in flower, persimmons have a habit of they're fertilised when they're flowering of dropping all of the flower buds and they also don't like to be watered too heavily because that can cause the same effect and again when the fruits are about sort of walnut sized it's probably not a good idea to feed them because um, they can drop a lot of fruits due to being overfed as well. I'm going to feed all of my trees except I probably won't do the loquat of the two loquats because loquats don't like to be over fertilised and I had burnt leaves on them last year because I think I fertilised them. This sea is quite mild, so I don't think it'll be um, I don't think it'll be a major problem, but I think it's best to be on the safe side. And I'm not going to film myself. I'm not going to film myself uh, watering all of the plants, but um, I'll just I will pause the video and just turn it the other way so you can just see me. To, uh, do two or three of them and I'll just give them a good a good soaking because we actually haven't had any rain for a week or two or such so uh, it'll be beneficial to them so I'll just pause the video and switch the camera around for you Thanks everybody for watching, please remember to give me a thumbs up, share the video with anyone you think is interested, this is about feeding uh, your container grown fruit trees, in ground ones might require different feeding or not at all, 
Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And remember, if you hit the bell, you'll be notified on new videos as they come out. I'll catch up with you all in the next video. Bye for now.